Hello and welcome to this video. This is gonna be 50 facts about me, I think. So the first fact about me is that I'm actually from a really small town in British Columbia called Squamish, where I spent the first 17 years of my life. I am five foot seven inches. I am the oldest of three, so I have two little brothers, Jackson and Jordy, and luckily for them, I was a rebellious little kid and paved the way for their teenage years. Jackson's just cruising on through at this point. He's the youngest. My parents both had brown eyes and I'm the, I was the only one in the family to have green eyes until Jackson was born. And I still don't know how that's possible. I am, however, the only person in my family who is left-handed. Everyone else is right-handed. I do not currently have any tattoos and I have five piercings. Fun fact, I have sent my saliva sample into 23andMe twice. Both times it came back negative because they didn't have enough DNA in my saliva to produce results. And I'm now not allowed to submit my saliva to the company anymore. Well, I can, they just won't give me a refund. And considering my luck so far, I don't really want to take that chance because it's like 250 bucks. So I guess I will never know. However, based on my mom and dad's family origins, I can sort of figure out that I'm about 75% British and 25% Irish. I had braces in high school for two years to correct an overbite. I actually spent the first two years of my life growing up in a motel that my parents managed. I didn't grow up watching TV. My mom wouldn't allow it. So my aunties would actually record MTV and shows like My Little Pony and give me the VCR recordings on special occasions. So even though I am majority British, a lot of people actually think that I'm Russian and are so confident in their assumption that they will just start speaking Russian to me out of nowhere, which I have no idea what they're saying, but I did learn Privyet, which is hi, just to mess with them. I have only ever broken one bone in my entire body and it wasn't even my fault. When I was two years old, my auntie tackled me because she thought I was in danger because I was running through an empty parking lot. <laughs> or so I am told. I am very stubborn. I have been to eight countries in my life. Yes, I'm gonna count Canada, the United States, China, France, Italy, United Kingdom, Thailand, and Spain. I am constantly on the move, and if I ever spend a day doing absolutely nothing, it's very unfulfilling. My middle name is Florence, after my great-grandma. I used to love the water, I used to love the ocean, I used to think that I was a mermaid, until I was in France and I almost drowned because of an undertow. And ever since then, no thank you. I do not like water anymore, I do not like the ocean, I'm good. <laughs> My first job was when I was, I think, 15 years old. It was in Squamish. It was at the McDonald's. I worked there for a year, and my first ever shift, I spent eight hours making french fries. And I was really good at it. I have dual citizenship in the UK because my dad was born there and then immigrated to Canada. It's something I used to be really embarrassed about, but I'm a huge crybaby. I cry over everything and I think it's healthy. So I know how to drive stick and automatic, but I don't actually have my license, and when I did have it, I never got past the L stage. This is something that always surprises everyone because of how outspoken I am, but I actually used to get horrendous social anxiety right before I was about to walk out the door. I am a Libra with a Libra sun, Sagittarius moon, and Leo ascendant, which explains a lot. I tend to make decisions with my heart rather than logic and it gets me in trouble sometimes. My Myers-Briggs personality type is ENTP, extroverted, intuitive, thinker, and perceiver, also known as the debater. I believe that the secret to success is perseverance. I was never a big perfume wearer until this year. So fun fact, caffeine doesn't actually affect me at all. Nothing happens and I just honestly drink it for the taste. I hate <laughs> knickknacks. I have a little bit of an obsessive personality where I will 
latch on to something like a book or a video game and just like play it obsessively until I'm done or until I find something else. So I had my Morrowind phase, I had my Sims phase. I don't believe in wearing sweatpants outside. I believe we can do better. <laughs> I am agnostic. I've never toyed with religion. It's not interesting to me. I am open to the idea that there is something out there, but I would require proof before I put my belief in whatever that is. Je sais deux langues, anglais, obviously, et français. I've never really had a favorite color until this year, and I've been really into pink. So we'll see how long that lasts. I go through what I like to call stages of maintenance levels. So some days I'll go really hard, I'll get like gel nails, fake eyelashes, like I'll make appointment after appointment, I will maintain those nails, I will maintain those lashes, and then I just won't go, they'll fall out, and I'll just move on. Like I had gel nails for a year straight, and I haven't had them for like for three years. The only things that are constant are my tan, and my blonde hair. Which leads me to my next point is that I'm naturally a brunette. As you can see, my roots are coming in, but I don't recognize myself as much when I'm a brunette and I feel more like myself when I'm blonde. Which leads me to a third point is that I've never been allergic to anything until I developed an allergy to bleach a few years ago, but only realized it last year. I hate sleeping in. If I wake up after nine o'clock, I feel like, what have I done? I've wasted my day. I've always kept my social circle really small. I'd rather have a few super close friends that mean a lot to me than a bunch of people who don't mean anything at all. So I've actually been going to therapy on and off since I was 16 years old and I think it's really beneficial for everyone because it teaches you to be vulnerable and self-aware, which I think allows for more growth. I love veggies. A lot of people don't know this, but I actually wear glasses. I am nearsighted and it's pretty bad. It's negative 3.5, so if I don't have anything in or around my eyes that are gonna help me see, I cannot see. Weird fact, but I used to really like drinking cow's milk when I lived at home and like growing up. My mom would keep like one of those four liter jugs in the fridge and sometimes if no one was looking, I would like drink it from the jug. I was really into cow's milk, but now I drink almond milk and not as obsessively. I recently graduated with my bachelor's degree in business, which I've just been like telling everyone because I'm so proud of it. I don't care to watch a movie more than once. No thanks. I don't believe in perfection. I believe in doing the best you can with the resources that you have. So this one's more of a PSA. If this has ever happened to you or is happening to you or you hear about this happening to someone because it's actually really scary. Basically six years ago, I started getting these really bad headaches. It was really similar to migraine symptoms. So a lot of people assumed that I just had developed migraines. And this went on for a few months until one day when my parents were out of town, I was having the worst headache of my life. Sound hurt, light hurt, movement hurt, everything hurt. So I called my girlfriend and she rushed me to the ER and it turns out I had meningitis, which is when the liquid surrounding your spine and your brain swells up and I had no idea that I had been living with this for months and had no idea. I had an emergency spinal tap that night and it was really scary. And I wanna put it out there, if this sounds like something you or a friend are experiencing, go and get a second opinion. Don't ask WebMD. It could be meningitis. It might not be, but it might be. So go get it checked. And my last fact is that I've always grown up with dogs. When I was younger, I had two boxers, Toro and Kato. And then I had an Akbash named Nanook. Then I got a Mastiff Pitbull Cross who has my heart. Nikita, and even saying her name makes me want to cry. She was the best dog in the world. But before she passed away, we had a little bit of a dog overlap. We had rescued a Sharpe named Kimo, who we renamed Kimo. And we had a Boston Bull Terrier named Rocco. So with that being said, I'm a huge dog person and I really hope to get one of my own one day. If I can find affordable housing in Vancouver that also allows for dogs, 
that'll probably be the first thing that I do. So that's it for this video. I liked digging down and trying to pick out 50 things that I feel make up me. And so there they are. I hope you enjoy them. The knowledge is out. If you relate to any of them, please let me know which ones they are by commenting below because I'd love to know. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be putting out videos every Wednesday. And I don't really believe in New Year's resolutions. Fact number 51. I believe in making like consistent commitments. So a goal of mine is to upload frequently in the new year and I'm really excited to do that. So please do subscribe so you don't miss a video. Click that bell notification and I will see you next Wednesday. Hey.